All right, guys, I'm back with another gas mask review, as always. And uh, this one is on kind of a rare mask. It's not super rare, but they're, they're definitely not easy to come by. Uh, I don't know how they are in Europe. I'm sure they'd probably be a lot better than finding them here. But, yeah, for the most part, these are fairly rare. I mean, yeah. But uh, So this is the Serbian M2F, they, they, pretty much Yugoslavia. It's very similar to them. This is a basically an upgrade to the uh, Serbian M2 and uh, it's basically you'll be able to see it it's basically the same thing but um here we go so this is the waist strap here that uh, you can kinda tell because it's sewn at an angle and that the bag almost sits back at an angle like that and then once that kinda does this whole little thing it straightens out and then your shoulder strap is up here and they have these nice little quick uh, detached buckles. These types that just basically are really easy to get on. And the straps are very soft, easily adjustable with a uh, kind of a buckle pull loop type deal. Now onto the bag itself, very plain, nothing really on the bag. Uh, it's got this front flap that has three button snaps, like a lot of American masks. That's not made to open from the top. It's made to open from the front, obviously. But up here you do have some limited markings. It says M2 uh, M96 16024A. I'm assuming that's probably date production and all that crap. But <clears throat> you see here, I will pull this open. These three button snaps, and you have a flap here. And with your pass through for your finger to get back there and push the button up, and it obviously opens up pretty similarly to a US bag. So first thing you're going to pull out of here, obviously, is the gas mask itself. Set that over here. You're going to get the filter. Um, it comes with a spare filter plug, which is kind of weird. And then over here in this Velcro pouch, I don't know how well you'll be able to see this. In this Velcro pouch, there are two packets of paper, or cloth, I mean. So I'll set the bag over here. I'm assuming that these are for cleaning or chemical detection. I'm not 100% sure. I actually didn't know they were in there until a couple weeks ago and I've had this mask for a while. So, uh, I guess we'll review the filter. Well, my filter is 1992, so it's pretty new. Uh, it's got this nice cap on here that has the finger grooves, so you can get it tightened down really tight and then pop it out. So, the filter is kind of a weird uh, zinc looking color, and it's all black with yellow uh, markings. Filter cap pops off zinc interior, all that sets part. Then you also have an ex uh, extra filter plug that is uh, green instead of being black, so I'm not 100% sure what's with that. Ooh. Air conditioner just kicked on, it feels really nice. Um, so here's the mask, as you can see, very, very similar to a Serbian M2, Yugoslavian M2. Um, basically the exact same mask size being black and having a voice amp and a new exhale style. So uh, again, it's a side loading, left side filter only. So you can't uh, wear this. Well, I mean, you could wear it as a right-handed shooter, but it's not going to do you much good. You're going to be banging the filter against the gun. And then you have pretty large eye lenses that uh, actually provide for a huge field of view. Uh, works really well. So over here we have a fabric head strap, uh, similar to basically like an M17 style, just doesn't have that cross uh, bridge up here. But much bigger pad, uh, very stretchy, very comfortable mask. Uh, uses the exact same buckle system as the US mask. Adjusts very easily, so that's good, obviously. Um, yeah, not a whole lot for markings on this mask as it goes to M2F, so that's about it. Uh, there's some faint stamping over here. Uh, Get in the right light. 0956. I'm assuming that might be a lot number, something like uh, along the lines of that. But yeah, this mask, they're uh, not easy to come by. But as you can see, it has a very, very good voice amp on the front. I'll put the mask on and talk into the microphone with that. Then the exhale valve down here is uh, similar to the Canadian C4 almost, except for the fact that it doesn't just swivel off. You pop this off, and that actually exposes your exhale valve. And then this is a two piece assembly. I can pop it out. This is the grate that goes inside of this. So, and that basically keeps dirt and all that kind of crap from clogging up the exhale valve. 
and then this uh, is reassembled and popped back onto the bottom of the mask. Uh, there we go. Okay, so now we're going to flip the mask inside out and well not flip the mask inside out, put the head harness on the front and we are going to take a take a look on the inside of this baby here which uh probably one of the more comfortable gas masks I own so here we go here's the inside uh, as you can see it kinda has an S6 uh, or S10 style oral nasal cup where it's not really separate from the mask I mean it kinda is but not really so that's pretty neat it does have that peripheral seal all the way around which is good um, oral nasal cup how air flows in is just a slit in the top up here from you can peel this back and check out well you can't really see it very well but you can check out the inhale valve and of course down here you can see your voice amp that you can kinda of see light through a little bit and your little chin rest but I would say that this mask uh, gets a 10 out of 10 on comfort probably out of all my masks comes in right behind the S6 for the comfort level uh, the M40 probably is behind this that's how much how much I like this mask I am looking for a uh, Yugoslavian M2 to go with this which I'd really like one uh, so again the filter pretty oh okay so pretty standard 40 millimeter thread uh, threads into the side of the mask just like that so that's not really anything to uh, uncommon sticks out there quite a ways but no big deal fairly uh, it doesn't sag really but it's kind of flimsy uh, I mean it works obviously because Serbia still uses this mask for the most part um, they do have an M2FV which uses a drinking tube but this mask still is in service um, I guess I'll throw it on here and show it and I'll talk into the mic see the mic uh, the mask um, I have it pre-adjusted that's why it kind of squeezed my hair out from the straps and uh, yeah I basically just poof my hair out because I already have it pre-tightened to where it needs to be and I forgot to talk to the voice diaphragm didn't I so I will do that okay so this is the Serbian M2F voice diaphragm I don't know if you can hear me uh, the mask in real life projects my voice excellent. Um, there's absolutely no muffling at all. I mean, the mask is beautifully made. It's just high quality, all you can get. So I don't know if the voice diaphragm is very good. I'll have to see how it comes out on the film. Okay, so again, let's go back to the mask. There's absolutely zero fogging. Uh, if your mask fogs, there's something wrong because this thing is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, very, very high quality. I mean, if this had a drinking tube, I would take this over an M40 any day. Um, so, I mean, the mask overall is very good quality. I don't have any problems with it. There's nothing that I would change about it besides the drinking tube. And they fixed that problem. So, basically, this is a flawless gas mask. That's probably the first time I've ever said this mask has absolutely zero flaws to me. But I would say it's about perfect, honestly. I mean, your field of view is just enormous with this mask it's just I mean it doesn't look like it but it has a really big field of view because I mean the mask will stretch out over your face and it kind of pinches that nose branch and uh your face is so close to the eyepieces it's just like not even having separate eyepieces there and um like I said the mask is probably one of the more comfortable ones I own so it's a pretty cool mask if you can find one pick one up a certain seller on eBay does kind of bring them up every once in a while he lives in Serbia but you're gonna pay like 60 bucks for one which is around what I paid for this shipped but uh, I mean the mask itself is to me worth it it's kind of I don't know it's, it's sort of a hot and cold mask because I mean it, it really has no features per se but it's really cool so I mean in retrospect it's a cool mask but as, you know I mean looking at it compared to other things it's not that amazing it's just kind of one of those masks that, I mean, they're cool. You just can't 
I mean, compare them with some things. I mean, it just doesn't have that many features. But um, that's probably going to be it for this video, guys. So going to uh, pack this thing back up in its bag and be on my way. So hope you guys enjoy this video. I had fun making it. So.